Oh, hi guys. Welcome to another episode of Comic Republic's Piece by Piece. I'm Michael, and on today's episode, I'll be talking about Retibidemi issue 5. So, let's dive So, this issue starts off with Dorothy and Paula in Dorothy's apartment watching the news about how Bidemi's mom has been found and has been rescued. Bidemi comes rushing in, asking Dorothy to take her to the police station so she can be reunited with her parents. She gets to the police station and she meets her mom and her dad who are currently really, really emotional. And then she hugs them, hugs them tight. And then her brother, who we happen to see for the first time, also comes in and the entire family is reunited. So in the next scene, uh, Bidemi's dad asks his family to head back home so he can properly investigate the people who kidnapped his wife. The entire family goes home, there's Bidemi, her mom and her brother, they head to the house but her mom makes a pit stop at the hospital and then so she can check herself up making sure that she wasn't hurt in any way and then Bidemi and her brother head home. So both Bidemi and her brother, Jason, are in the house. Bidemi is in her room, we don't know what she's doing. Jason knocks on her door and tells her that he wants to get to the other side of town to see a friend. Um, Bidemi laments about how, you know, dad asks us to get home and stay safe, but he's like, I'll be back before you know it. Jason goes back to his room, it's dark, he turns on a torch and then he pulls out a ladder and climbs to the ceiling and brings out something and sets it on the floor. Things start to get really, really mysterious from here. Jason opens a box and there's a glowing purple light coming out from it. And just as he's about to pull out another from the box, he hears a voice in the background that startles him. Jason, is that the device? Guess who? Toye Oluwadare, aka Powerbox, leader of the Eurogen, aka the Extremes. Mad. Powerbox and Jason gets into a fight in the house, destroying everything. Bidemi comes up from her room, sees Powerbox in the house, wondering what in the world is Powerbox in the house, fighting her brother. Uh, Jason throws the fireball out of nowhere. Powerbox is shot, blasts him away, and knocks out Bidemi in the process. Jason jumps out from the window. Powerbox, who was unconscious also for a few minutes, gets up and chases after him. Uh, a few minutes later as well, Bidemi also regains consciousness and chases after Powerbox. They both meet themselves, cornered in the woods, and then for the first time, Jason gets to see his sister in her you know, vigilante outfit. He gets to know that his sister is a vigilante girl, the um, popular vigilante girl in the and she's telling Powerbox to back away from her brother or she's going to put him down. Amazing. And that brings us to the end of this amazing issue of your video. Coming up next is what I like and what I do not like. Stay tuned. A few moments later. So, what do I like and what don't I like about this issue of Um, I think of all the issues that have come out so far, this is by far my best one. Um, I don't not like anything about it. So I'm not going to talk about what I don't like. As for what I like, uh, I think I think I like the um, I like the scene where Powerbox just shows up out of the blue, and um, I, I don't think anybody saw that coming. That was that was amazing for me. I also like the um, reunion with Iriti, her mom, her dad, and her brother, and I also like the addition of you know. A brother that nobody knew about all this world that just came out of nowhere. So, so yeah, uh, if I have to rate this issue, I know I'm always very biased with my ratings because this is my book. But I'll give it a nine over ten. Yeah, <laughs> my camera guy is rolling her eyes. <laughs> but yeah, nine over ten. So good. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Comic Republic's Piece by Piece. See you guys next week. Bye.